<laughs> Jack and Ori, take one. Oh, I should, I should have filled this out. I got this for Christmas today. Jack and Ori, take one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jesus, it's got it, me. So, what are we talking about? We are talking uh, the buggy story. Hit me with a buggy story, man. The buggy story. I can't believe you haven't heard the buggy I'm story. Pretty Everyone sure, I've it. never heard it. Yeah. Infamous. The, um, the buggy story, the famous buggy story was I was in Albadia. I was in Dubai. Right. And there's a, a course called Albadia. Albadia. <laughs> Albadia. Yeah. Albadia. Yeah. <laughs> Albadia, yeah. <laughs> Um, no, it, uh, it, it were only open for about 10 years. It might not even be that, but it was a favourite course. It was absolutely beautiful, it were. And um, when it first opened, I was over in Dubai, and I thought, I'm gonna, I've been looking at it, and I knew it were opening. So I thought, I'll go and have a, a round on that. So it said opening day, whatever it were. So it turns up to the course as normal, goes in, and it, it weren't officially open, the course. Right. It was just, um, uh, what do they call it, a soft opening. Yeah, they were practising, see what it was going to be like. Yeah, you know, and we were getting everything ready. Not everything was, um, like, ready to open as such, you know, like, um, on the buggies, actually, like, they didn't have the sat-navs. Right, but yeah. You, you know what I mean? Some of them had the sat-navs, but they were still doing it. But it was open, a soft opening, but there was no one there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so I goes in and I said, can I have a around the golf and he says yeah no problems blah, blah, blah. everything was right as red didn't know any different pays me dosh walks out all the buggies are there so he goes to buggy master or whatever he's called you know yeah and uh i just said hey mate and, and i just looked up and down because usually clubs are in ready for you going you know to go yeah yeah especially it being so quiet so uh, the lads there and I said, where's my, where's my buggy, mate? And he went, no, I said, there ain't any uh, buggy, it's just walking. I went, walking? It's like <laughs> fucking 100 degrees. You know what I mean? 20 stone, 100 degrees, don't work, you know? No. And I went, no, I said, I'm not walking, mate. I said, I want one of these buggies. <laughs> and he says, no, he said, there's no no buggies. I've only I've only been outside two minutes and walked fifty yards and I'm piss wet through. Yeah, you're sweaty you know, so. yeah. enough. Were it hundred degrees, like it were proper boiling. Probably over hundred degrees, you know, yeah. probably one oh eight, one oh nine, something like that. <laughs> so I goes back into the club shop and I said, What's the what's the crack like? And he says, No, he says there's no no buggies. And I went, I said, well, just fucking you know, just like how much did he just charge you? How much did he charge you and you thought you'd pay for a buggy? I don't, I can't remember Paul to be honest, but it was nothing because they fluctuate that much of prices, yeah. don't they? You know what I mean? You can pay anything from 30 quid to 200 quid in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. You know, so uh, so he's going, no, no, he says, you can't have a, a buggy. And I went, what are you on about? And he went, no, he says, I can't let you have one. He said, for insurance purposes, we can't rent it because it's not, you know what I mean? Insured, yeah. And I went, oh, I said, I'll tell you what. And I said, I'll fucking buy one off you. <laughs> he went, you are? I went, yeah. I said, get the manager. I says, I'll, I'll have one. And he went, I said, we, we can't do that. I went, <laughs> I said, just get your, your gaffer. So gaffer comes down, manager, general manager, whatever you were. And I'm haggling with him. I said, come on, man. I said, I can't walk around here, blah, blah, blah. And I ended up talking him in. And I bought the buggy off him. How much, like, or is, is that a... How did you end up buying it for? Six and a half grand. <laughs> I didn't know this story. I didn't know this story. Yeah, it's cost I'm... you about seven grand. It's cost you about six, well, six and three quarter grand to play golf. <laughs> so, but I said to him, you know, so what am I going to do with a buggy over there? You know yeah, what I mean? You're going to sell it back to him afterwards for six. But, that's exactly what I did, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. So I says, uh, I said, I'll buy it, mate. I says, but obviously, I'm, you know, <laughs> it's not good for I'm me. Driving it. I'm not driving it to Dubai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so I had me round, come back, he checks it all over, 
And he went, right, and then just give him credit card and he sorted it out and and that were it. Show him. <laughs> Yeah, six and a half grand on credit card. Yeah, sure, sure and six of it afterwards, and then you just went and played. Yeah. Did you actually play eighteen holes? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you at least got round. Oh yeah, I got a full round in course of it. Yeah, <laughs> but because uh, Sharon said, "What would you, uh, what would you have done if we didn't buy it back off you? We damaged it or something? What well, you know? Yeah, can you imagine you crashed it? Yeah, and I just said, well. Uh, I want no, the logic of the tax. Grand. Yeah, I want the logic of the tax back to all tell, would I? <laughs> you know, we got told off by you, but we'd have had something to drive around in for the rest of all of it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so that's the the infamous buggy story. Is that is that the only place you've bought a buggy? Yeah, yeah, I don't <laughs> bought. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, I know. I didn't know that story. I I do see the comments where they say, "Oh, you'll just buy a buggy." I didn't know the full story. Yeah, no, it's uh. I were over with a, a mate of mine actually, but he didn't play that day. And uh, I were texting him and messaging him, and Jesus Christ, You're like yeah. crazy bastard! He's like, so that's the how bad are you? How bad are you? How, story. how, how bad are you? But I'll tell you what, the, the prince owns that in Abu Dhabi, and Abu Dhabi we changed, it in, we changed it into a, a golf course. And um, like I said, we're only open about nine or ten years because his wife, I mean, from Abu Dhabi up to Dubai, you're only talking an hour, hour and a half, you know. And uh, she wanted her weekend home in Dubai, and that was her, her weekend home. So we shut the course. Honestly, it's closed now, and it's gone back to family estate. Oh, right. So her house is on the course, and now they've closed course. Yeah, it was unbelievable. You know, they were absolutely stunning. Big round clubhouse, it were. It were oh, it were gorgeous. Mental. That's yeah. proper money, that, isn't it? Yeah, they were mad at them. Absolutely mad. Did you buy P54? <laughs> Look, you can't resist it, can you? <laughs> Stop. I've stopped. Stop. Stop. <laughs>